Hey, hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. So in this video we are finally going to learn about something called recursion. Now recursions are, uh, many people think that they are very very complicated but they are not actually. If you get the concepts clear, if you get the concepts right then it is uh, really very useful in uh, many situations. So let's get started. Now the very first thing I'm gonna say about recursion is that recursion is a function calling itself okay so recursion is a function calling itself so in in many situations where we have a we have something to do repetitively uh, by uh, by depending on a condition then we can use recursion to do the job efficiently okay so in very basic terms recursion is a function calling itself we're gonna learn about everything in depth and I'm also gonna show you a uh, a diagram by drawing something so that your concept gets clear so let's get started now in this video we're gonna use recursion to use recursion to find the factorial of a number I hope you guys know about what is a factorial of a number the factorial of a number is the is the multiplication of the consecutive numbers from that number till 1 as an example the factorial of 5 is 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 the factorial of 2 is 2 multiply 1 the factorial of 3 is 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 I hope you got it so we're gonna we're gonna get the factorial of a number by using recursion so the very first uh, the very first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a function that con that's gonna calculate the factorial for us so we're going to write int and we're gonna name this function fact and inside that we're gonna pass a variable so what this variable do will do is we'll pass this variable a value and this function will return us the factorial of this number so suppose in case of a we uh, we write 3 and it will pass us 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 that will 6 so it will return us 6 so the condition here is uh, if a equals 1 that is when the value of a is 1 we wanna we wanna return 1 so when a is 1 we want to return 1 you know that the factorial of 1 is 1 else what we'll do is whenever the value is not 1 we want to return we want to return a multiplied by fact function we're gonna call the fact function and we're gonna pass inside it a minus 1 okay so when the value of a is 1 we're gonna return 1 and when the value of a is uh, something other than 1 we're gonna multiply a by factorial uh, I mean we're gonna call this function again here and we're gonna pass 1 less than a and then we're gonna return the value so as I've said you guys that uh, this is basically a function calling itself okay so inside factorial function as you can see that uh, it is calling itself okay so that is why it is called recursion so what will happen is this function will get called and this function will again call itself this function will again call itself and finally it will reach a situation where the value of a is 1 so when it will reach the situation where the value of a is 1 it will return 1 and then we'll get all the answers I know it feels a bit complicated but you will get everything okay I will show you a uh, a diagram and I'll show you pictures and it will get clear so as of now we can understand that when the value of a is 1 we will return 1 else we will return a multiplied by fact a so let's go and test it first of all so inside a variable a we're gonna so inside fact we're gonna pass 3 let's say we're gonna pass 3 and this function will calculate the factorial of 3 that is 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 that is 6 and 6 will be stored inside a so in the next line let's go and uh, print the value of a okay and quickly let me go and prototype this function otherwise it's gonna throw me a bunch of errors so here's the prototype so let me go and run it now oh what is that I don't know why he's making so much time uh, so as you can see that when we pass 3 the value should be 6 and the value is 6 here okay 
so the function works but I know that a lot of you don't understand this yet so let me go ahead and understand um, uh, I mean explain it here so here we have a function like this okay so inside that function we are passing a value say 3 and we want in return uh, in return we want the I mean the factorial of 3 okay that is 3 times 2 times 1 okay so since the value is not 1 according to a condition since the value is not 1 so when the value is not 1 we call the function again with less than one value of that and multiply it by this value okay so as you can see I think I should delete that because in the uh, function I haven't did that so I think I should write the return value here okay so when we pass 3 what happens is it calls 3 multiply func2 so this func2 gets called again so this function gets called again from here okay so you cannot exit here because this function is gets called and this function is gets called here okay let me go and delete this again okay so what happens is now it is not responding so what happens is uh, when we call this function what happens is this function gets called and this function gets called like this okay so here this function gets called and as we have passed the value 2 here so the value 2 is passed here so this function again calls return 2 multiplied by fact 1 okay so fact one gets called and again this function called another function that is fact one so this function gets called so from here this function gets called again okay now we are passing one so very first time it passes three then the next function passed two and in the next function it passed one so uh, according to our condition when we get one we want to return one else we want to do these things so when the value is one finally it returns one so where this one will be returned this one will be returned in the function from where it was called so this function was called from here so in place of this whole thing one will go and it will sit here okay so in place of this whole thing one will return so finally from this function we are actually returning two multiplied by the value of this that is 1 so from this function we are returning 2 multiplied by 1 and this return value will return to here and here in place of uh, in place of this thing uh, 2 multiplied by 1 will return okay so finally we are getting 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and this is what returning uh, from the main method returning in the main method from where we are calling so here here 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 is getting returned in A and finally we are printing the value so this is how recursion really works I know it's a bit complicated but uh, if we get the concepts clear uh, I think uh, it is easy not that tough so I hope you like this tutorial if you have any problems I would recommend you to watch this video again and again because I know that it's a bit complicated so if you watch it again and again then uh, the concept will get clear so thank you very very much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions just write those in comments and please subscribe to my channel and thanks